In this video, we will look at algebraic operators and expressions in C sharp. So, what is an operator? An operator is a symbol that does work on one or more operands, and, and an operand is just some value. So, here are some of the basic algebraic operators in C sharp there's a plus, minus, multiply, divide, and a modulus. So probably most of you are familiar with the basic algebraic operators, plus, minus, multiply, divide. Modulus might be a little bit new to you. And then are, there are some compound operators, plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divided by equals, plus, plus, minus, minus. We will look at examples of these in just a minute. So these are operators. They are, they are going to do work on values. An expression is a sequence of operators and operands, or values. So for example, here is an expression, 3 plus 4. This expression is combining two operands, or two values, with an algebraic operator. So when I combine values with an operator, this gives me an expression. Now in C-sharp, anywhere that you can have a value, you can always replace that value with an expression. So for example, if I had the statement x is equal to the value 10, I would assign 10 into the variable x. I could replace this expression, or this uh, statement, with the following. I could say x is equal to 5 plus 5. I'm replacing the value 10 with the, the algebraic expression 5 plus 5. Now what happens here is, before I can do the assignment, this expression has to resolve into a value. So 5 plus 5 would resolve into the value 10, then I could add 10 or assign 10 into x. Let's look at another example. Here I'm calling the right line method and I have some formatted string and I want to insert a value into that string, so some value x. Well, I could replace the value with an algebraic expression, x times 2. So in this case, before I can insert this value into my string so I can print it, this expression has to resolve to a value. So we would have to do the math, or the compiler would do the math, come up with a result, then I could uh, insert the result into the right line. So here are, here are our five basic algebraic operators. The plus sign is the addition operator. It adds two values. So 10 plus 5 would give me the value 15. The minus operator subtracts values. So 10 minus 5 would give me the value 5. We are subtracting 5 from 10. The multiplication operator is an asterisk. So 10 asterisk 5 stands for 10 times 5. When we multiply 10 by 5, this gives us the value 50. And then the division operator is a forward slash, a single forward slash. So 10 divided by 5 would give me 2. Now the new operator that you, you may not be aware of is the modulus operator. And it's the modulus operator in C-sharp is a percent sign. The modulus returns the remainder when you divide one value by another. So for example, 10 modulus 5 would return the result if I divided 10 by 5. 5 will go into 10 two times with 0 left over, so the remainder is 0. So 10 modulus 5 returns 0. 7 modulus 5, if I take 7 divided by 5, 5 will go into 7 one time with 2 left over, a remainder of 2. So 7 modulus 5 returns 2. We return the remainder. 4 modulus 5, if I were to take 4 and divide it by 5, 5 will go into 4 0 times with 4 left over. So 4 modulus 5 would produce the value 4. So modulus is a, is a useful operator. Uh, you, it, it helps you do a lot of interesting tricks when you're coding. It's a good one to learn. All right. When you use an algebraic operator between two similar data types, the result that it produces is always that data type. So for example, an int operating against an int will always produce an int. Double operating with a double will always produce a double. Algebraic expressions between mixed 
num uh, data types always give you the more complex type. So if I have an uh, integer two and I'm interacting with a double five, the result that it produces will be a double. It's the more complex type. So again, integer two plus integer five gives me integer seven. A double two plus a double five gives me a double seven result. Integer two plus double five gives me a double seven result. So when we mix ints and doubles, we get double. But here's where this is going to catch you. If I take an integer three and divide it by an integer four, well, three divided by four is 0 0.75. But there is no 0.7 anything inside an integer. Integers are only whole numbers. So the integer three divided by the integer four gives me the integer zero. We lose the decimal information. So the one thing we need to look out for when we are doing algebraic operators uh, is that when I am dividing an integer by an integer, I will lose my decimal precision in the, in the result. So we might have to figure out ways to handle that. Something to think about. Operator order of precedence. Now all of the operators in C sharp have an order in which they are executed. So for example, if I have the expression two plus three times four, I could look at a table in a, a C sharp table and it will tell me that, well, the additive operators plus and minus occur after the multiplicative operators like multiply or divide. And there's many, many more rows on this table. So if, this, if we were to leave this expression to C-sharp, C-sharp would first multiply 3 by 4, then it would add 2. So there's an order of precedence that it follows. But instead of trying to memorize this large table, we can use parentheses to, to very explicitly specify the order that we want our expression to execute. Um, so for example, if we wanted 3 to multiply by 4, Instead of just relying on operator precedence, I believe it is a good idea to specify. Put parentheses around the 3 times 4. Um, whenever you use parentheses, the innermost parentheses executes first, and then you work your way out. So if we have more and more sets of parentheses, the innermost execute first, and then you work your way out. If I wanted the 2 and plus 3 to occur before my multiplication, then I could use parentheses here. I would put parentheses around the 2 plus 3, then multiply that quantity by 4. So the innermost parentheses would execute first, 2 plus 3 would give me the result 5, then 5 times 4 would give me 20. All right, I think I'm going to make a future video that, that shows how you can implement some basic formulas using um, C sharp. Compound operators. So there are some compound operators that combine an algebraic operator with the assignment operator. These are just shortcut operators. Uh, the four common ones that we should all be familiar with are the plus equals, minus equals, times equals, and divided by equals compound operators. And the way these work are, when you see a plus equals, you are, you are going to first add the value to the variable. And, or first you're going to add the value to the variable, then you're going to assign the result of that expression back into the variable. So let me show you an example. Here I have the expression x plus equals 1. The plus equals operator is going to take 1, add it to whatever value is already in x, and then we're going to save that result back into x. So we're adding this value 1 into the variable x. This expression is exactly equivalent to the expression x is equal to x plus 1. I'm taking the, val the value 1, adding it into x, the old value of x, and then assigning the result of that addition back into the variable x. I'm updating x with an addition. There are two more operators, the plus plus and minus minus operators, that take this one step further. If you are adding or subtracting exactly the value 1 from your operand, then the plus plus or minus minus operators can come into play. So plus plus operator ex adds exactly 1 to the operand. The minus minus operator subtracts exactly 1 from the operand. So for example, x plus plus, the x plus plus operator is going to add 1 into x. So if x is 10, 
x plus plus means x will now be 11. This, is exact, this expression is exactly the same as x plus equals 1, where if x is the value 10, I'm going to add 1 to 10, which is 11, and then assign that, that, that result back into x. And again, that the, both of these are exactly the same as x is equal to x plus 1. I'm going to take the old value of x, add 1 to it, and save the result back into x. These, these operators are useful shortcut operators, and they are used uh, often enough that we should memorize them. We should be familiar with these compound operators. So I'll end the video with just a couple examples here. So let's say we want to multiply the integer value y by 10 and save the result. So multiply y by 10, save the result. So here I'm going to create the, the algebraic expression y times 10. The, the asterisk is the multiplication operator. And then I'm going to save the result of this expression into some new variable. So I created a variable called result that holds an integer value. Because y is an integer and 10 is an integer, the result can be saved into an integer variable. Next, I have the, the statement uh, add the value 22.5 to the variable score. So I want to add a value to an existing variable named score. Well, I could do this using the following expression. Score is equal to the expression score plus 22.5. I'm going to add the old value of score to 22.5 and then save that result back into score. We're updating score with, with an addition. Or we can use the shorthand compound operator plus equals. These do the exact same thing. Score plus equals 22.5. I'm going to add 22.5 to score and then save the result back into the variable score. And then the final example, I want to add 1 to the variable age. So I'm adding exactly 1. Well, I could write the expression age is equal to age plus 1. I'm going to add 1 to the old value of age and then save the result back into age. So age is updated with the old age plus 1 or I could use the compound operator plus equals, age plus equals one. Here I'm going to add one to age and save the result back into age. Or I could use the even further shortcut, age plus plus, because we are dealing with just the value one. Uh, age plus plus will add one to the previous value of age. Hope this helps.